Hi, my name is Tori, and I'm a new mom, and I'm still learning a lot of things about parenthood. I thought that I'd start making a YouTube blog about my experiences as a new mother and helpful information that I've learned in doing so. This one I would like to talk about what to do before the baby comes. Initially, um, if this was your first pregnancy, you may want to consider taking a child birthing class. Um, child birthing classes are offered by hospitals um, and midwifery centers, so it's good to get a, a listing of someone or several people, and you can call them up and ask some questions about what their classes entail, how much their classes cost, and if they take insurance um, coverage. Before your baby comes, you're going to want to decide how much time off are you going to want to take from work? How much vacation and sick time do you have to use already to go toward that time? After that, you're going to want to try to limit the days as much as you can that you take off from work to bank those hours so that you can use them when your little one arrives. Um, I remember I used to be so sick and nauseous when I was pregnant, but I wanted, I remember being able to think about spending those days with my child and I just, just was like you can make it through it's just a it's just a normal part of some people's pregnancies because I know it was a, a big part of mine uh, nausea and so I just stuck through it and I made sure that I went ahead and just calculated how many hours of vacation and sick time what I have to use and then I decided on how many weeks that I want to take off I took off nine weeks and a couple days I took off that amount because I based it off of how much money I could save up that would not cover my expenses after my vacation and sick time expired after deciding that, I had to determine how much money I would take out of my paycheck to meet that goal. I also had supplemental insurance through AFLAC, which pays you for being um, in the hospital and for having a child. So that was able to give me an extra uh, seven hundred, nine hundred dollars to go toward the money that I needed to take off the time to be at home with my new child. During my pregnancy, I learned that there was a lot of things that I had to do to prepare for the coming of the baby. One of those things is getting the child on health insurance. I had to learn that just because you're covered by your job doesn't necessarily mean that your job will cover your child. Who is better to cover who is better to carry the child on their insurance? Should it be the father or the mother? I would determine that based on the premiums of each parent, how much has to come out the check for the child, as well as who has the better insurance plan. If your insurance does if your job's insurance policy does not cover any of the cost for your child to be added onto your insurance, you might want to look up your local state and um city insurance programs and see if you qualify for any of them to be put on so that your child can have health insurance as well. One of the things um, that I also had to determine while I was off was, was I going to breastfeed or formula feed? I thought that breastfeeding would save some money. But then there was also the option of formula feeding. So I did my research on both and I picked the one that was that I felt would be best for me and my child. Um, those are things that you need to think about before you have a child. Um, after you've determined how much time you're going to take off, how much money you need to save to take off the amount of time that you determine, how to get the baby on the insurance, or whose insurance you're going to put the baby on, you're going to need to know how much is it going to actually cost you to have the baby. You can do this by calling the customer service number on the back of your insurance card and just asking some general questions. What is my deductible for having a baby? How much are my co-pays that I have to pay for each office visit? How many um, sonograms are covered? Things like that. You don't want to get stuck with a huge hospital and um, prenatal care bill if you don't have to. It's good to look into those things. Um, another thing that I did before the birth of my daughter was to develop a resource book slash manual which I can show you all in the next 
um, video that I do. What I did was I bought a 99 cent binder, just one, a normal one, one inch that you would use for school. And I bought some clear plastic paper holders and I put them in there. And I went through magazines that I was reading on pregnancy and things like in birth and child raising and I clipped out articles that were appealing to me. I also got information from doctor's offices when I was there for my appointment to add into my resource manual as well. I made sections that had to deal with each each thing. One was on sleeping, how much sleep should your baby get, how to calm a fussy baby, how to tell if your baby is colicky. Another section was on medical. It had all the baby's medical information in it. I also added brochures from doctor's offices on what to do certain t um, for certain temperatures, how to get down a fever, uh, when to call your doctor section, and a list of um, helpful emergency contact numbers. The next thing that I wish that I had done earlier that I did not was find a child care provider for my daughter. In doing so, I thought it was going to be easier than what it was, and therefore I waited. And in waiting, I had um, I ended up finding someone at the very last minute that Friday before I had to go back to work on Monday. It didn't work out with that person, um, although they were great. Um, I just I could, you can get a sense from your child you pick them up even when they can't talk if they've had a bad day or not. Um, so I went ahead and switched to someone else. It's good to have a list of questions for your daycare provider such as are you a smoker? What is your routine? What type of activities do you do with infants? Do you practice tummy time with infants which is essential for setting up, walking, um, numerous things for the baby's physical development. Uh, that's a good question you want to ask them. Uh, how much television time will my child be receiving? And things like that. You want to make sure that the daycare provider knows that you care about the care of your child so that they take care of your child the way that you want them to. And the way that they should and you uh, and, and should be expected to. Um, another good question is price. Sometimes home daycares can be more affordable than center daycares, but there's also child care assistance programs that you can see if your city has by just going to your local social services department and applying and see if you qualify for those services. Um, other than that, I'm trying to think if there was something else that I did that was really important. Making sure the baby's room is put together, having your bag ready, um, Taking a childbirth in class was essential for me. Again, I absolutely loved it. I learned so much information, and my partner was just great with his communication with me and um, encouragement during the whole thing. Um, even though getting ready for a child can be stressful, it is mainly joyous and wonderful and truly, truly a great blessing to be able to experience. Please leave any questions you have and I hope that this video was helpful and look for more of my videos in the future. Again, my name is Tori and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.